In January 2023, a tragedy struck the treacherous, rugged landscape of the San Gabriel Mountains when beloved British actor Julian Sands was hiking on Mount Baldy and disappeared without a trace. His disappearance shocked the entire entertainment industry. Fans around the world hoped for a safe return. As days became weeks and weeks became months, the mystery surrounding Julian Sands' fate intensified. Julian Sands was born as Julian Richard Morley Sands on January 4, 1958. In Audley West Riding of Yorkshire, he grew up in England and then moved to the United States for a career in Hollywood. Julian's first wife was British journalist Sarah Harvey Sands. They married in 1984 after a relationship of more than a decade. The couple had a son, Henry Sands, in 1985, but unfortunately, their marriage stranded in 1987. Later, he met Evgenia Sitkovitz. Evgenia is an American playwright, writer, and journalist. In 1990, the couple married and had two daughters. Natalia Morley Sands was born in August 1996 and Imogen Morley Sands in December 1999. The couple was married for more than 33 years. Julian was a native English actor. He became famous with his breakthrough role as George Emerson in the 1985 film A Room with a View, directed by James Ivory. He also delivered impressive performances in several films, including The Killing Fields in 1984, Warlock in 1989, Arachnophobia in 1990, Naked Lunch in 1991, Boxing Helena in 1993, Leaving Las Vegas in 1995, The Medallion in 2003, Ocean's 13 in 2007, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo in 2011. In addition to his film career, Sands also appeared in several television series, including 24 in 2006 as Vladimir Bierko, Smallville between 2009 and 2010 as Jor-El, and voiced the character Valmont in Jackie Chan Adventures. His talent and characteristic features, including his tall and gaunt appearance, made him well-suited for both horror and drama roles. One of his most recent credits was a recurring role in Netflix TV series What If? But unfortunately, something totally unexpected happened. On January 13, 2023, Julian started a hiking adventure in the Baldy Bow area in San Bernardino, California. Located in the beautiful San Gabriel Mountains, this area is known as a popular destination for hikers and adventurers. The Baldy Bow area is a specific part of Mount Baldy, an impressive mountain that looks out over the region. Julian, who was known for his love of nature and hiking, had already experienced countless adventures, but this time, nature had something very different in store. According to Corporal Nathan Campos of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, a hiker was reported missing in the Baldy Bowl area on Friday, January 13th at around 7.30 p.m. The person in question was actor Julian Sands. The person had not returned from a hike in the Baldy area. A search operation was launched. Unfortunately, on Saturday, January 14th, the search for Julian Sands was temporarily halted due to a high risk of avalanches and poor weather conditions on local trails the ground crew involved in the search was removed from Mount Baldy. A search crew was sent out, but because of weather conditions, they were pulled on Saturday. Helicopters and drones will be out there to continue to search, weather permitting, said Corporal Nathan Campos of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's. On Sunday, January 15, 2023, the search continued. Based on phone taps, it was determined that Julian was en route to Mount Baldy. Despite attempts to obtain additional pings from the phone provider, these were unsuccessful due to a lack of cellular service and possibly a cell phone power outage. A delayed ping from the Apple iPhone operating system dated January 14, 2023 indicated a possible location on one of the trails leading to the summit of Mount Baldy. This particular area was searched by search teams with a helicopter, but no evidence was found that could locate Julian. Over the next few days, the search team worked tirelessly to find him. On Wednesday, January 18th, a significant development was reported in the search for Julian. His car was found in the parking lot in the Baldy Bowl area, where he had been reported missing. Julian's family towed the vehicle away from the location. Search efforts were hampered by winter conditions, but it was announced that another ground search was planned as soon as the weather improved. We will schedule another ground search when the weather improves and it is safe for our ground crews, said a spokesman of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. This discovery added another piece to the puzzle in the ongoing search for the missing British actor. In addition, the Sheriff's Department shared a warning on their Facebook page about the extremely dangerous conditions on Mount Baldy. Indeed, there had been recent rescues and tragic accidents. Hikers were strongly advised to exercise caution and avoid the risks. 
On Thursday, January 19th, the search continued, but at that time the search was still being conducted by helicopters only. Avalanche tracks had previously been observed on the west side of the slopes, complicating ground search and rescue operations. Additional aerial searches were planned, but there was no set time or duration for these searches. The January 14 and 15 pings were delayed and showed Julian's movements on January 13. Investigators worked with the California Office of Emergency Services, which has additional forensic cell phone technology, to determine the exact location. But up to that point, no useful clues had been found. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department shared a new message on their Facebook page. This message indicated that it was the 11th day of the search for Julian Sands on Mount Baldy. The message emphasized the determination and selflessness of all responders involved in the search. Available resources would continue in the coming days. In addition, a statement from the Sands family was shared, asking readers to keep the family in their thoughts during this difficult time. Due to a warning of heavy winds on January 20th, helicopters could not be used during the search. The search was initially postponed until the weekend of January 28th, but on January 25th, 2023, the search for Julian continued from the air anyway. The California Highway Patrol Valley Division Air Corps from Auburn, California, assisted in the search using a RECO device called RECO Be Searchable. RECO technology can detect reflective material, electronics, and sometimes even credit cards. Hopes were pinned on California Highway Patrol agents Jason Herzl and Matt Colkett. According to a source, they possibly had the knowledge, expertise, and resources that could help establish a targeted search area. That weekend, helicopters and drones continued to use infrared equipment to search, but unfortunately no clues to Julian were found. Meanwhile, the second full week of searching for missing actor Julian Sands was approaching. Numerous ground and aerial searches had taken place, but unfortunately still without results. The search would continue as long as weather and ground conditions permitted. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department search and rescue team consists of expert volunteers willing to take a personal risk to rescue lost and injured hikers. In mountain areas, the steep terrain, unpredictable weather conditions, and high winds are often underestimated by both experienced and inexperienced hikers. The combination of these conditions poses a danger to both hikers and SAR volunteers and Sheriff's Department personnel during high-risk search and rescue operations. Despite precautions taken by hikers, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department strongly recommends avoiding dangerous mountain areas, such as Mount Baldy, on January 24th. According to a source, the rising death rate on Mount Baldy is caused by exposure to the elements and falls, while the risk of avalanches complicates rescue operations. Between 2017 and 2022, search and rescue teams conducted a total of 233 missions on Mount Baldy, which unfortunately resulted in eight fatalities. During this period, volunteers spent an impressive 27,277 hours on search and rescue operations on the mountain. The cost of rescue operations on Mount Baldy ran as high as $1.4 million between 2017 and 2022. Fellow actor Kevin Ryan said Julian was a smart guy and very strong-willed, with lots of experience to tackle the treacherous conditions. But all we have in a situation like this is hope. One of the things, as I said, is how advanced Julian is, and he's a smart guy, and I'm remaining hopeful that he's holding out, you know, surviving. Julian met Kevin on the set of the 2014 American drama series Crossbone Sands starring John Malkovich. One of the common things that I had with Julian was hiking. I live in California, in Los Angeles, and so does he. So we decided to go hiking a couple of times, said Kevin. He's actually the one that introduced me to Mount Baldy, which I've done a number of times, twice in the winter. It's an incredibly hard hike with those weather conditions. You're talking about six to eight to nine hours to get to the summit. When it's icy, it's very challenging. Kevin also stated that Julian is an advanced hiker. I know Julian is an extremely advanced hiker and very strong-willed. He's very, very fit, and we're holding out strong it'll be a positive return for him. Over the weekend of February 20th, rescuers continued to search Mount Baldy. In the process, they also tracked hits from a RECO Advanced Rescue Technology device. If conditions allowed, they would continue to deploy resources to complete the search. Since January, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department has conducted eight searches, both on the ground and in the air. During this process, volunteers had spent more than 500 hours searching. Despite the fact that days, weeks, and months had passed, Julian still had not been found. 
On Saturday, June 17, 2023, the large-scale search resumed. More than 80 search and rescue volunteers, deputies, and staff were involved in the search. They were supported by two helicopters and drone teams. The aircraft were used to take search teams to remote areas in Mount Baldy and to conduct aerial search and assessment operations. In addition, the drone team searched in inaccessible areas that were difficult for ground teams to reach. Despite the warmer weather, parts of the mountain remained inaccessible because of extreme mountain conditions. Some areas and canyons still had more than 10 meters of ice and snow. On Saturday, June 24, 2023, around 10 a.m., hikers contacted the Fontana Sheriff's Department after finding human remains in the wilderness of Mount Baldy. Deputies from the Fontana Station and the Emergency Operations Division of the Sheriff's Department immediately responded to the location. The deceased was taken to the coroner's office for identification. The identification was expected to be completed next week. On Tuesday, June 27, 2023, the tragic and redeeming word came. The identification process had been completed and it was determined with certainty that the victim was 65-year-old Julian Sands of North Hollywood. At this time, it is not clear how the victim died. This will continue to be investigated in the coming days, pending further test results. According to the San Bernardino County Sheriff Coroner Department, we would like to extend our gratitude to all the volunteers that worked tirelessly to locate Mr. Sands. After Julian Sands' body was found, his family issued a statement expressing gratitude to the search teams and coordinators who had worked tirelessly to find him. We are deeply grateful to the search teams and coordinators who have worked tirelessly to find Julian, his family said. We continue to hold Julian in our hearts with bright memories of him as a wonderful father, husband, explorer, lover of the natural world and the arts, and as an original and collaborative performer. Julian Sands will always be remembered as a talented actor and a loving family man. Thanks for watching this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated on more similar videos. We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. Until next time.